Hello? I'm Sonic. We will learn about forecasting formula, part 2. Enjoy the latest update of Mathematics Studio now. Part 2, the moving averages. A moving average is a calculation to analyze data points by creating a series of averages of different subsets of the full data set. It is commonly used with time series data to smooth out short-term fluctuations and highlight longer-term trends or cycles. This curve may look like an audio of a waveform. As soon as you have applied the moving average, it will become smooth, similar to the linear ones. These can be applicable for finding sales of some items in the markets. For example, I'd like to buy Sonic the Hedgehog plush toy in a toy store. For every week, the sales of Sonic the Hedgehog plush toy may increase or decrease gradually. All you have to do is to find out the average of three sales, say, 25, 27, and 26. Summing up the first three sales, and we divide it by three, the average returns as 26, that's the same as the third week. At least, we start from the second week first. If you have considered as a range of 10 weeks, you can find out the moving average from second to ninth week. So the first three columns include week, sales, and three moving averages. Fourth column, finding an error, which is equal to sales minus the moving averages. It can either be a positive or negative value. On taking modulus of an error, all the values returned as positive, it will always begin with zero. This lets you total up the remaining values you have obtained as 8. The mean absolute deviation is 8 divided by 8 is 1. On taking square of an error, the same as the modulus ones, but can multiply with itself. Indeed, you have obtained an 8, the mean square error is 1, just like we did with mean absolute deviation. Finally, the mean absolute percentage error which is equal to absolute error divided by the actual sales, multiplied by 100, then, you can find mean absolute percent error in the same way. Like we did with mean absolute deviation and mean square error. These four types of errors you have seen from fourth to seventh column of a table. So, this video is about the moving averages. Like, comment, and subscribe now.